Hello, puddings and penguins. How are you? Uh, this is another video talking about Battle.net or Blizzard app, whatever it's called, on Linux. The reason I'm making this video today is because I was browsing the web today on forums and on Reddit, and I saw no less than three questions about Overwatch on Linux. And I'm like, I, I don't understand. I, I, I thought this was solved. So obviously all the information is out there. So I have picked up a few subscribers recently. Uh, and I would like to make sure this information is coming into their inboxes and things. Uh, so I thought I'd make a refresher on this topic with all more up-to-date information. First off, playing Blizzard games in Linux is kind of a solved problem. DXVK is this magic API thing that takes all that DirectX 11 stuff, throws it at Vulkan, and results in massively playable games. Like this is like this is like like wine on acid or something. It's so good. Um, it takes games like The Witcher and just makes them available. But you don't have to know any of that because we're here to talk specifically about Battle.net or Blizzard App or I don't know what you're going to call it. Um, first off, you want to do is install Lutris. Really, I know a lot of people are using Play on Linux and stuff or managing their own wine containers. But seriously, guys, all of that is not as good as Lutris. Lutris is superb. Lutris is an application that launches games and it also manages wine containers. But most importantly, even for the non the non wine container -y games, for all their stuff. Um, it's community powered, as in people in the community write install scripts and then you, they get indexed on here and people can go and hit the button to install the scripts. Um, it is wonderful because it can be constantly updated, it's fully open and it is just such a great program, application, project, whatever you want to call it. So if you want to get Lutris, just go to lutris.net, L-U-T-R-I-S dot net. Um, and yeah, you can find lots of ways to install it here. I would guess most people will be on one of these distros. I mean, there's even instructions for Gen 2 and Slackware, you know, and then the source if you want it. And there is no problem here. You should be able to get Lutris without any problems. Um, yeah, once you've got that, you can hit Games button up here at the top, um, and then you can type in Blizzard, just Blizzard. There you go. There's blizzard.net. This one here is the one you want. If the turns out to be 10 by the time you get here, because it's the future, uh, or the past and the videos travel through time anyway, um, just just, just this one here, that's there's blizzard.net tool, 1996, developed by Blizzard, published by Blizzard, and the battle.net logo. Should be the top one. You'll know if you got the right one when you go in, um, because, yeah, this is the one. This is called the uh, Docs installer, because the dude who made it is a guy named Docs. I assume a guy. I'm assuming. It's fine. It's fine. Tell me if I'm wrong, Docs. Um, Docs is smart. Docs is super smart. Docs is smart and motivated to keep this thing up to date because you'll see there's updates. Look, updates to the install scripts. It just is being maintained and it's being talked about on Reddit constantly. Every time he does a change, a significant change, he'll post on Reddit to say, look, these are the changes I've made. Um, basically, I'm not going to like decide on which one of these. If there's more than one here, just decide on which one. But basically, just find the most recent one and hit install, right? When you hit install, Lutris should do its thing. And what that is, it'll pop up with a window and it'll start installing it. Now, if you've read this, you will notice that what you have to do is just when it asks you to pop up, it goes log in. Just don't. Just be like, nah, I'm all right. And then the installer will finish perfectly and you won't have to mess about anymore. Um, and then you'll have an icon like this in, in, in Lutris under wine. We'll get back to that in a second. Um, pay attention to known issues here. These are ever changing, but I have played lots of Overwatch. I have played lots of Diablo 3. There is no problem here as long as you've got reasonable hardware all right let your installer finish don't try and skip or, or skip steps just let your installer run even if you install anything you know you've got let the installer run because because docs is smarter than you are probably um and it's smarter than me too and just let the thing happen okay now what you end up with is this launcher here now i'm going to tell you this as a little extra you hit play blizzard launch or launch fact right but the Blizzard Launcher is a janky piece of proprietary shit, right? It is not a great application. It's shit. It's just shit, right? And that's me being nice, that is. <laughs> that's genuinely me being nice, right? Uh, so if you try and resize the window or you try and muck about the damn thing, there's a good chance it's going to freeze up or crash. It's shit, right? So any problems you have with the, the Blizzard Launcher are not reflected in the script. It's because Blizzard are, are shit at launchers, right? It's just, that's a thing. Um, it's very janky, proprietary, customy piece of software that's a bit weird. Now, that said, I haven't really had any problems. I have a thing where I resize it and it doesn't resize, which is annoying, but I can install my game to launch it, but it's a fucking launcher. You know, I don't need to browse it. Um, if, at this point in the future, you can go right-click and go configure, right? Just like I just did right then, 
um, you can get to game options here and you can get to runner options. Now, runner options allows you to choose your version of wine. Now, you can choose all the different versions of wine, right? Um, specifically, uh, you want to choose the most recent version on your system. Personally, I choose. I tend to choose the ones that is marked as default in Lutris. Uh, by default, it it might choose this PBA Fire at eleven. Um, the, the the seriously, the default one that that the launcher does is probably fine. The reason I'm even telling you this is because if it doesn't launch for whatever reason, it might be because it's selected like an old ass version of wine. Um, this is probably too much information. You probably won't need to do this. Now, the enabled DXVK you might need to do though. Um, you want to tick that box or put a little cross in that box depending on your theme. Um, and then in here. You probably want version 0 0.54. There's a drop down list, right? If, like my list, drop down list doesn't have 0 0.54, you can use your cursor and you can type in here 0 0.54. Um, in the future, you may be up to version 6.1. Um, to be honest, I can't really tell you how to know that. I'm going to guess a little bit of like time on the internet and you'll learn that on Reddit and stuff. But yeah, at the moment, at time of at time of publishing this, yeah, time of publishing, I'm on version 5.4. The, the version 6.1's out, but my drivers on my system aren't quite up to date enough, and I'm on NVIDIA, and I need the, the, the very beta Vulkan developer driver, which I don't have installed. So 5.4 is as high as I can go reliably. If I go any higher, it'll error, right? Now, DXVK is not big. It's a very small thing. So if your internet's fast, you're not going to even notice it downloading DXVK 5.4. So you'll think, it hasn't worked. I've just written 5.4, but it's still using 5.2. No, it, it's working. Trust me. Trust me. Absolutely working. You don't have to do anything else. All right. That's it. That's you done. But if you do, if you're an interested party, you can hit in systems the options there. You can scroll down. Don't use your mouse wheel on this window because kind of a GTK thing is if I use my mouse window and I, I use my mouse wheel and I cross this, it'll scroll this box, for instance. It's just don't use your mouse wheel, right, when you're in this sort of application. But you'll see all these things here. So if you've installed, if you have a SSD, a SSD, an SSD in your system, and you've decided not to install Overwatch to it, you can go in here and you can manually type in the location of your um, of of your SSD. You can make a folder on your SSD and put your shader cache in there. Now that will help you a great deal. I mean, genuinely, putting your shader cache on an SSD will make your game run better. That's not just like a I think like two frames a second better. I'm saying like seriously. That will be better. That will be good for you. If you ha can put it on SSD, you should absolutely 100%. And it's also worth saying that, that the docs installer puts all these settings here. You don't have to touch them unless you want to. This is a little tip from me to you to tell you this is something you can do. Because what I don't want people to do is go and try and copy my settings here because if that installer's changed. Things I'm showing you in here might not be relevant if it's in the future. But these are what I've got in mind right now and, and everything works. Um, but yeah, shade a cache path. Put Point that to an SSD, right? And you will, you need about. Weirdly, Overwatch is like large shade. It has like 15 gig, if I remember right, or something. Is it 15 gig? It's, it's large, you know, 1.5 gig? I don't even remember. It's noteworthy big anyway, so make sure you've got plenty of space there. Um, but yeah, an SSD shader will help you, right? Then hit save. I'm going to hit cancel because I don't want to accidentally apply anything. And then you hit play. That's it. You hit play. And you give it a second, it'll load up on the wrong monitor on mine. There you go. Put it on the right monitor. This is it. I just use a Wine Virtual Desktop. I'm a fan of the Wine Virtual Desktop. There's no reason you have to do this. I just like the Wine Virtual Desktop. Um, there you go. And then you got like you got the games here. You can see I've got Overwatch and I've got Diablo. I think I've got Hearthstone. I don't have Hearthstone installed. Um, I did have more installed, but I must have removed it at some point. But yeah, I don't play a lot. I really want to really play Overwatch anyway. Play that. When I hit play, Overwatch will load. I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to get into a video on playing Overwatch. Um, but yeah, that is literally how you do it. Um, I'm going to stop that now. Uh, yeah, that is how you do it. You'll be able to play Overwatch. Any other method, honestly, like manually do this and apply these patches. It's all a waste of time. Just let Lutris do it. And I know that's preference and maybe you want to do it yourself. That's fine. But if you're on a forum asking how to get Overwatch working, then let's, let's be real here. You know, you, you probably just want to use Lutris. Um, seriously, it, it'll make your life better. Now, I'm hoping this is the last time I have to talk about Overwatch. Because like, I've made like six videos about this. But yeah, seriously, it's... um. This will make your Overwatch work. You, there's no need to, to ask on forums. There's no need to, 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 to look for other methods. Like like Lutris.net, Blizzard, look for the one that has Dox's name in it. Hit install. Boom. You're done. You're gold. You can play Overwatch. Assuming you're DXVK compatible, that is. You can run Overwatch and OpenGL. Not as good as a, as DXVK. Like, 
big not as good you know like big not as good um massively not big not as good what am i even saying here but anyway hopefully this has been helpful to you i really hope that this has been something you have enjoyed watching and you can go oh yeah oh yeah and there'll be people who'll say he didn't show any footage of it running yeah i didn't I, this is just an off the cuff video i've just hit record in the middle of the afternoon it's half four i've got things to do thanks for watching <laughs> bye guys <laughs>